Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. This is week two of Travel Mugs. Let's get started. So as soon as you come back into the studio, make sure you turn your pot over so that you can let the base dry for trimming. So all I'm doing here now is trying to get my travel mug um, centered as close as possible. I'll do the normal, I'll center based on what kind of rings are on the bat already. Then I'll tap into place, double check what I've done with a needle tool, pushing the thick side towards the thin side of the circle that's drawn until I have it centered. Once I'm confident my travel mug is centered, I'm then going to not use my trimming tool. I'm going to put worms down to hold my travel mug in place. So remember, pushing down on the, top, on the bottom of the pot, so into the bat, and then those coils are going down into the bat right up against the travel mug. So not pushed into the rim of the mug, actually pushed down into the bat. And because you have it so close, it's I'm not going to allow your mug to move while you trim. And now I'm ready to trim. So all I'm going to do for this is to clean up the base. I'll cut in um, a small foot in the center of the bottom and then I'm going to just clean up the sides to make sure I have nice smooth walls um, that slowly go out towards the rim at the bottom that's near the um, bat. Once I'm done trimming, I take my, one of my rib tools. Uh, usually I use my red rib, but these walls are thick, so I'm gonna use my straight edge of my yellow rib, and I'm just gonna hold it along the side just to clean up any um, possible snags or vines that get created um, while trimming. So the lid I left on the bat to dry, um, and now I'm just gonna test to make sure it fits in my travel mug. Um, to do this, I just turn my travel mug upside down and literally place it on top of the lid. Um, if it doesn't fit, if it's too big, then I will leave it attached to the bat and um, turn the wheel on and trim it. But since mine does fit, I'm just cutting it back off the bat um, and then I'm going to place it inside the um, travel mug. I'll clean up the edges if I see anything that's sort of a mess, uh, but this is pretty much it for this lid. It's an easy one. Uh, this would, I use the ruler to measure it. I know sometimes using a ruler isn't as precise, so using calipers will give you a more accurate um, shape. 
But see what I'm doing here? I put paper down um, into my uh, travel mug and then I put the lid in so that I can just let it kind of dry together so that it keeps the shape. Um, if you don't put the paper down, you're likely to have your lid stick and since there's nowhere to grab it, you're going to ruin your pot to make it fit. To finish off the lid, we're going to add a handle, but not just like a knob that goes on the top of the lid. It's actually gonna go on the side and kind of hook into place to keep your lid from falling out while drinking out of it. So to start, you're going to need a small amount of clay that's about four inch, and roll it out to about four inches by two inches, and then compress it down with one of your ribs. Once you've compressed it down, you're then going to cut quarter inch strips out of it. And then leave these strips to dry um, for a while. You see how I pulled it away and it bent? You don't want it. You want these to stay uh, straight. This is what the knob, it's a side knob, is gonna look like. So once your strips have dried for a while and they're pretty set, you're going to cut one inch section out of one of your strips. And I apologize for the video. Um, the image is sort of out of the shot, but uh, you'll see how it goes in the end. And of course, I'll be in class to help with any questions. And then you're going to cut out um, a little square that's gonna go on and be scratched and attached on one end. going to repeat that with a second square and this will give it height off the top of the lid. Now cut another inch off of your previously made strips and attach that to the end of the um, knob that we've made. you should have something that looks like this. Now going back to your travel mug, we're going to cut the mouth part from the top of the lid. So I'm gonna just, I'm not going all the way through yet. I'm just lightly drawing my uh, shape of how I want the opening to be. And then I'm removing the lid and cutting out now what I didn't take video of is I put the lid back on and then cut straight through that gallery flange that we created and um, 
removed that part as well from inside the mug. So now I'm going to check to make sure my piece fits correctly. See, it's going on the side, not in the center. And then I will um, add it. Also, you need to add a little tab on the opposite side, inside of the lid to keep, to help keep the lid from falling out when drinking. Now we're ready to attach the knob. So I place it on the top and I'm looking at it from the side and the top to make sure it's far enough over and then I'm going to trace the outside so that I know where to score into my lid. And then again, you know, scratch and attach, add that slip, make sure it's on there tightly. Um, just a note, we are making a small knob um, so it is fragile, so you're gonna have to be careful with this mug. If you don't wanna make this type of attachment and just make a um, little knob that goes in the center that's a little more hefty, uh, you can do that. This is just one option. Once fully attached, you're gonna cut a small sliver of clay. So I actually just cut my strip in the middle lengthwise and then cut a small tab, maybe a centimeter long. And this is going to fit just in between your, um, between your piece you've just made and the actual mug. Um, and we'll, act, we'll catch, and that's actually what's gonna hold your piece from falling while drinking. And that's how you finish making the travel mug. So at that point you can be done or you can add a design to it. And I'm gonna show you how to do a simple decal using rice paper and designer liner. So I've drawn a design on some rice paper. I'm flipping it over and then I'm going to trace where I've drawn using the designer liner. Once you finish your drawing, you're gonna let it dry until um, you no longer see the designer liner is glossy. Quick side note, you'll notice I have a white circle on my mug. I'm using a dark clay body, so I took some uh, glo uh, Loafer's Glory slip and just painted that on in about three layers, letting each layer dry in between painting so that I could put my decal on with it being more visible than being on the dark body clay. Then you can place your decal onto your piece, designer liner side down, touching the clay. And then you are going to, just like a temporary tattoo, get a slightly wet sponge, not drenched, and you're going to just pat that on to where you've drawn and where you can see the designer liner. Um, and you're just gonna keep doing that until the entire piece is wet. Then once you've done that, you're gonna take your soft red rib and you're going to kind of just carefully just um, slide the rib over it, kind of pressing that designer liner into your piece. And now you're ready for the big reveal. So all you need to do is remove the rice paper and do it slowly, pulling in one direction, not to lift too quickly or you might pull up too much of the designer liner. Um, as you pull, you might see there are places that stick. You can put the paper back down and kind of rub again with the red rib or you can um, just completely pull it off. This is what I'm doing. Uh, you see that top spot on the cow is kind of missing some of the designer liner. So I'm actually going to just take that designer liner and kind of fill it back in. Um, 
with just a little bit of the black underglaze, which is really all it is. It's just finely sieved so that it comes out of the um, needle, needle hole um, easier so you can have uh, better lines. And that's all I'm doing. So to glaze it, I'm just gonna do a clear glaze, wax over the decal, and then do a dip. And that's it. There's your travel mug. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.